Having guns at home can be dangerous. Kim Peterson joins us with some tips on how to keep you and your family safe. Kim? The Provo Library held a gun safety event last night where I got to chat with an officer about how we can stay safe around guns. 17 centers of disease control and prevention reported 410 deaths in Utah related to firearms. And just a few weeks ago, two children in Utah accidentally shot themselves in the head while playing with guns. With all these incidents piling up, the Provo Police Department is concerned about keeping kids safe around guns. A gun is an incredibly powerful tool. You have the, the capability of owning that gun you need to be responsible for it. Wanting to be responsible was exactly what brought Jessica to the gun safety event. My brother owns guns and I go shooting with friends sometimes, so I thought it'd be good to learn some gun safety. Learning gun safety means knowing how to keep your guns locked up and out of reach. Um, we have a extremely cheap but effective option right here. It's our able lock uh, that runs through the magazine. Our trigger guard lock, it stops the trigger from ever being pulled. Officer Bruff says that gun safes are also a great option. Officer Bruff has two young kids of his own and says it's extremely important to teach them about gun safety. Um, I would always recommend that you start teaching your kids at a young age. Some other tips include storing guns away from home, making rules for handling firearms like only when a parent is supervising, and by talking about the difference between real life guns and pretend guns seen in movies and video games. If children see a gun, teach them to stop, don't touch, leave the area, and tell an adult. Keep your guns clean. Make sure they're safe. Make sure you're handling them properly. If you have guns at home, consider picking up a lock like this one and make sure to teach your kids the importance of gun safety. Back to you. Thanks, Kim.